All right, we are on question 11 for the Onshape Associate Practice Exam. And this is part of our locking pliers. If you have not built this assembly yet, which was question 10, make sure you watch that video first. That'll be linked in the description. And you need to do that before you can move on to question 11. Question 11 tells us to continue with the document, go to tab 11 on the instruction file. And then we are gonna position the locking pliers. You always wanna read this, even though it's probably obvious, sometimes they do add things. And if you don't read this, you'll get questions wrong. So we wanna position the locking pliers so that they are parallel as shown in the instructions. So we want basically the shorter surface on the lower handle to be parallel with the upper surface on the uh, upper handle. And I'll just warn you guys, I'm probably gonna get an error at some point because of this limit. Uh, we may wanna turn this off if we get an error. So I am going to do the parallel mate and we will do this upper surface right here with, we're just making these faces parallel. All right. okay. And we're gonna hit the check mark. And yeah, sure enough, it looks like we got an error. I'm gonna hit the check mark. If we see all this red, I'm gonna actually just double click this and take off the limits. Hopefully that fixes it for us. And yeah, that did. So now if I kind of go here, I can't drag anything because we forced those two surfaces to be parallel. Okay, and they want us to measure this distance right here. So what we are going to do is use this measuring tape tool. And I like to actually click on my view cube. I'm gonna click the right just so I get it centered. I'm gonna click from this point here, that corner to this corner over here. And we'll notice you know, the X distance is, actually we can't see it right now, but the X distance would be, if we hover over it kind of side to side, which is zero, so we're not seeing it at all. The Y distance is in our picture left and right, and the Z distance is up and down. We want the kind of distance uh, across and the shortest distance right in between any two points is a straight line, and that's this part here, which says minimum distance. So the minimum distance, that's what we wanted which is this part here. On a lot of these, we're gonna just choose the minimum distance option. So 27.510, and that is our second choice. All right, next up we have question 12. So we're gonna continue on. It says position the locking pliers to be in a partially open position as shown, and they showed these two uh, surfaces to be parallel. And then we're gonna use mate connectors again to evaluate mass properties. We wanna use that same mate connector as we did before, and they're asking us for the Y direction of the center of mass again. So this is question 12, right? And again, they want these two parts to be parallel. So what we are gonna do is we're gonna get rid of that guy and we need to go down here and uh, take this parallel that we just made and we're gonna right click this and just delete it. We no longer need those to be parallel. And instead we want this blue face to be parallel with that gray face up there. So I'm gonna choose the parallel option again and we will choose this blue face, then right click and hold to drag or to rotate and we'll click that guy there. We're gonna hit the check mark and that looks good. I'm going to go back to this view. If I try to go up and down, nothing happens, which is perfect. So we wanna click on mass properties and it says instances to measure. We wanna just highlight everything. And then the frame of reference, we wanna grab that mate connector and our Y center of axis is negative 15.486. So negative 15.486 or negative 15.49. All right, moving on to question 13. It says continue with the document, activate the tab in question 13, use the same partially open position. So that's really nice and they just want the angle. So if we look over here to question 13, this one's really quick. We actually don't need to really change much at all. We're keeping that same parallel position and we're just asked for this angle here. So we're gonna come over here. We're gonna get out of our mass properties and click on the right button again so I can get this nice just head on view. And let's move the camera out of the way. We're gonna hit our measuring tape and we wanna go from this line here to this bottom line there. And it's gonna give us distances, but it also gives us this angle which you know, I always like to hover over it. When you hover over it, it shows you what it's talking about, and that is the angle we wanted, 32.718 or 32.72, which is our second choice. All right, moving on to question 14. It says, continue with document, uh, go to our drawing, move the screw handle adjuster so that it is six millimeters from the back face. 
It's really important to read these. I totally missed this the first time because I didn't read and I couldn't figure it out. I kept, you know, basically saying that seems impossible. There's no way that if I make these two uh, edges parallel that I'll have a, a gap here. And it's because I hadn't made it six millimeter offset there. Okay, when you go over to question 14, um, this six is there. I just, I just missed it somehow. So the first thing we are going to do is we're going to go back down here to where we have this parallel mate and we are going to right click that and delete it. We no longer want that one. And we want these guys to be parallel. But before I do that, I want to make sure that this is offset by six. So if I click on this guy, this screw adjuster over here, um, if I kind of highlight over these, actually, we can do it more this way, right? This, this is the screw adjuster. If I highlight over these like cylindrical mates, uh, planar mate, right? Revolute mate, um, uh, Parallel mate, planar mate, that's the one I wanted. That planar mate was where I connected this surface with that surface. So if I double click on this one, I want a six millimeter offset. So if I come in here and I hit six, I like to just kind of click out here. That's actually the wrong way. So I want to make this negative six. When you're doing these, uh, positive is one direction, negative will be our other direction. So we want negative six. I'm going to hit the check mark. And what that actually does is now when we go up and down, and that's a little bit too much. This is why we they asked us to put in limits, and so that didn't happen. Um, now when we go up and down, these are further spaced apart. Okay. So we want to make these two edges parallel. So I'm going to go to our planar mate and hope we don't run out of battery. And we're going to come in here. We want this top surface with this surface right here, this face. We're going to make those two parallel at the check mark. Come back up here. That's how I want it to look. It does not move up and down. It's locked in place. So we're going to go back to the distance measuring tool. They wanted the distance between uh, let's see. There we go. We wanted that distance right there. And it's the same thing. It's that minimum distance, 12.23. So 12.23, that first option is our choice. And then finally, it says continue with the drawing. We're going to use that same six millimeter offset. We're going to leave that. And we're going to set the lock pliers to the fully open position, which is when this kind of top short surface is face is parallel with the upper portion. You can kind of verify that in our instructions. Right. So that's the parallel that we want. So we're going to come back out here. I'm going to hit the X. I'm going to go back down to this parallel uh, mate that we did at the end, and we are going to delete it. And then I'm going to just open this up a little bit. We want this shorter surface to be parallel. So I'm going to choose parallel. There's the face with this upper face. There we go. Hit our check mark. And that looks good. I'll go back to our right view. I can't move anything. I always like to check that just to make sure it, it rendered properly. And hit our measuring tape in that first corner with this other corner. And 36.547 or 36.55 is our answer. And there we go. So that is it for the assembly section. I really don't think that this is too bad once you get through the first portion. You really got to spend some time on question 10, but then the rest of the question should be really quick as long as you understand how to kind of rotate everything, how to use this measuring tool, and just being careful with uh, not getting questions wrong because. You know, when you click on mass properties, you might only have two of these connected. You want to maybe like hit this X and make sure that you got everything connected. And then again, same thing. If they were asking me for the Y center of mass, realize that's from the origin. That's going to be different for every single person taking the exam. You need to change this reference to the reference that they asked for. And now we can get a proper, you know, Y center of mass from their reference point. Okay. So I hope this video helped you. Feel free to leave any comments and good luck on your exam.